This is an athlete on creatine, and this is an athlete without creatine. So what is creatine, and how do elite athletes actually use it to maximize performance, and should you consider taking it? Hi, my name is Nick, and I'm an elite performance specialist and certified physiotherapist for elite teams and world-class athletes. And in this video, I'll reveal how world-class performers use creatine, how much they take, what it does, if you should try it, and why the normal recommended dose of five grams per day are far from optimal. But to fully understand how elite athletes actually use creatine, I need to tell you about a guy I used to train. You see, six months ago, I I had a physical test of basketball players. After the test, one of the players came to me and asked if he should try taking creatine because he had heard so much about it. I told him that this was the perfect time to try it because eight weeks later, we had another physical test. So I told him to follow the powerful protocol that I'm about to show you in a moment. And eight weeks later, he came back for another test. Not only had he improved his strength, speed and jump height by more than 15%, he also told me that he felt more energized, had less brain fog, and felt like he could just keep going in the gym. And the funny thing is, I've heard a similar story from dozens of athletes over the years. Most athletes experience tremendous benefits when they follow the protocol that I'm about to show you, and there's a good chance that it will do the same for you. This is what I said to him. Creatine is not some alien substance. It's naturally occurring in muscle cells, and it helps your muscle produce energy during strength training or high intensity exercise. Some research suggests that taking creatine can help you build muscle up to 30% faster than without creatine. It can also lead to a strength increase of up to 8% and a 14% increase in the amount of reps you can do at a given weight. That means almost one and a half extra reps per 10 repetitions. I told him that if he wanted to try creatine, he should start with a loading phase. You see, achieving creatine saturation in your muscles is crucial for reaping its benefits. This process can take time, but we use a loading phase where we increase the intake to speed up the process. A loading phase will usually involve taking around 20 grams per day for around seven days, which is around four times the normal recommended dose. You see, the recommended daily dose of creatine is five grams per day, but that is not what I told him to take. I mean, five grams per day for every individual is just ludicrous. That means that a 120 pound gymnast should take the same as a 220 pound basketball center? Nah, I don't buy it. Creatine intake should, in my opinion, always vary upon the individual and their weight and height and other individual factors. Instead, we use a slider model from around three grams to around 10 grams. The heavier and more muscular the athlete, the more creatine they'll ingest. So this guy would take eight grams of creatine per day, and then we would measure his response over time to see if we needed to adjust it in any way. I told him that for most athletes, creatine cause some initial weight gain due to water retention in the muscles. This is normal and should be expected, so I told him to not panic if that happens. This also means that we will never start taking creatine in season. We will always only try new things in off season to see how the athlete responds. The closer we are to competitions, the less we change up in our routines and what we do. Now this guy loves coffee, but I had him take his creatine as far away from his last cup of coffee that day as possible. That's because caffeine can limit the efficiency of creatine. But is it even safe to start taking creatine? Well, over 1000 studies have shown that creatine is safe and effective. It also has potential cognitive benefits and it may aid in conditions like Alzheimer's, which might explain his lack of brain fog. And that brings us to the question, should you try creatine? That is your own choice and I'll never recommend any one thing to everyone. However, I will say that regardless of gender or training experience, I advise all my athletes to try creatine for at least one month to see how it affects them mentally and physically. And after that month, all of them continue taking creatine. But this basketball player had another issue. He was doing cold plunges. And if you're going to do that, it's extremely important that you know when and why you do it. So to make sure you don't end up making a mistake, you can watch this video right here, where I'll show you why I stopped recommending cold plunges to elite athletes. 